Hi everyone, welcome to Eden Secret. This is um, the second video that I've done uh, that is similar to the video that we did previously. This is this mould is called the One, and it's from a company called um, Star Original Moulds. You can see this on the side. They are not cheap moulds they are quite expensive the 50 pounds but they're very substantial the silicon is excellent quality but it's all about the detail there is beautiful beautiful detail in these in these moulds and that's why i just had to have them um this is the mould i saw on the O Yvonne channel O Yvonne she makes soaps as well um, I don't know which country she's in whether she's Chinese Japanese or Korean or what I should have had a look really um, but this is where I first saw this mold and when I went on to the website um, and saw all the other beautiful beautiful molds that they have um, I had to have a couple of them right so I've if you want to see me mixing up the colors um, just click it click the information tab in the top right hand corner right now and you'll be able to see the other video that I did using these molds and um, that's where you'll see me mixing up the colors So we start now with some hot pink in the center to do it today. So this company they're on Etsy and um, as I said I'll put a link to their Etsy site in the description box below. Right, do I want any of this pink anywhere else? Yeah, I think I'll put a little bit over here. And that's the rosebud there. You know how much I love pink and green, so this is going to be a pink and green soap. But before we proceed any further, we're going to do, use this pearl pink that I'm going to put around here. I'm just using the same pipette that I used before. Actually, it might have been nice to put a little bit of the darker pink on the tips of the rose petals here. very quiet video today it's like quiet working away 
on this one because it takes a bit of concentration. Except you can hear John drilling upstairs. There's nothing I can do about the extra noises at the moment because the boys are home because we're still on lockdown. Put some pink on all of them. Yeah, so I'm going to squeeze that out now and go with the lighter pink and then just flood those out. I think we might need a toothpick for this one to get some of the detail into those very, very, very fine cracks that you can see on the top of the, the rose bud rather than the rose petal. Except for that, I think this is an easier mould to fill than the one that we did the other day. Or the last, what well, might be yesterday. Not sure when, whether I'll upload these one after each. What? What am I saying? One after the other. One day after the other, that's it. That's what I'm trying to say. I might break it up by adding some other type of video. Hope you don't mind me just being really quiet. done all of those haven't I? Right so these are all leaves there's not a lot of area to flush here on the side um, so we'll do the leaves now now all of the people who are always constantly getting in touch with me about teaching how to make soap and I keep saying I'm going to do something and I haven't done it yet I will be doing it now I don't know whether to do it soon or just wait until the lockdown is over but I haven't forgotten you I'm not ignoring I 
I love pink and green. It's beautiful. quite nice doing this actually it's very therapeutic I'm gonna use a toothpick to get into those really delicate areas I'll need to flood it more but not with green so I'll just do so much in each one Ah, look, I've forgotten to fill up that rosebud there. Are all the others done? Yes. <clears throat> We're just going to have enough. that bit dribbled in exactly the right place at the right moment didn't it So I'm just going to get the toothpick. Gosh, I hope my head's not been in the way for you. I've always got a fresh box of toothpicks to hand. So where this detail is, I'm just going to whisk it into those cracks. Do the same with this pink up here.
right now I'm just going to flood a little bit more of the pink in oh these are going to be gorgeous I think we have to do a cream background with this one. I've just spotted a bit of green that I haven't filled in. Where was it? Here. I mean, would a little bit of green be nice? I don't even know if it'll show through. Really. You know what? I'm actually really worried now. Remember the last video where I put some olive oil in to the colour? Um before mixing the soap batter in and then actually putting in some fragrance I'm frightened that I might have super vatted it too much so I hope I haven't done all this for nothing but we'll find out when we mould I guess by the time you hear me saying that um, I'll already have unmoulded the other one from the last video. So the gold that I had left over, I've just mixed it in to some regular cream coloured soap batter. So it's got a little bit of a, a goldy hue. Well, it's probably be a yellow hue when once it's saponified because I actually used that buttercup mica, didn't I? It's a gorgeous colour. I might do a speeded up version of this video as well. A slow version and a fast version. Because I'm getting much better at using iMovie. The great thing is, anything you want to know, it's on YouTube, so I spent a bit of time um, watching how-to videos um, on iMovie and on Photoshop. I don't Photoshop my videos, I just put like um, titles and, and text and things on them. I 
don't try to make the soaps look any more perfect or anything. You're just seeing them as they are. Actually, I maybe don't need to scrape this off because I think I'm going to do the rest of the soap.
sorry about the gurgling going on <laughs> the uh, uh, water's off at the moment we've got the plumber here um, so I just wanted to show you how these ones have unmolded again super pretty and they, they unmold fantastically well I have to say beautiful mold absolutely stunning the only thing is they're not very big but to be honest it's a more usable size uh, compared to the great big slices of soap I do So I don't know what I'm going to sell these out at. But I can absolutely recommend these moulds. Yeah, they are very expensive. But I guess you get what you pay for. Okay, there they are. If you like this video, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, a like, and you're welcome to share if you want to. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you want to win one of these, please just comment below, and I'll choose a winner in a couple of weeks. Alright, bye bye for now.